Hello everyone! More than a year ago, on July 26, 2016, the Bitdefender Threat Intelligence team came across a suspicious document called News.doc. However, unlike most potentially malicious documents that get processed in our labs, this file displayed similarities with a set of files known to have been used in a separate targeted attack against different institutions. Our technical dive into the file led us to a sophisticated malware framework that uses a handful of novel techniques for command and control identification and communication, as well as a plugging based architecture. This design choice has been increasingly adopted by threat actor groups for the past few years. Dubbed EHDevel, this operation continues to this date, the latest known victims reportedly being several Pakistani individuals. In their case, the threat actors have chosen different lures than the ones presented in our research paper, but the way they operate is identical. Another important discovery lies in the fact that this specialized framework has been used to gather field intelligence for years in different shapes and forms, and our threat intelligence also suggests a connection with the 2013 Operation Hangover APT. Our analysis of the framework also revealed an intricate mix of transitions from one programming language to another, code under active development, and bugs that were not spotted during the QA process, if there was any. Although the current framework is entirely written in C, previous versions of it were built in different languages, many of which are used for scripting. The analyzed email document is rigged to exploit a well-known and well-documented vulnerability. Once opened, it drops a payload that's embedded at the end of the file together with a decoy document. That way, the victim is actually being presented with a valid document and is oblivious to any wrongdoing performed by the malicious email attachment. Once the payload is decrypted, an exe file is dropped on the disk, the executable contains all the tools required to carry out its mission. During the investigation, our team also managed to retrieve different tools from the command and control server. These plugins can be divided into six main categories, with functionalities including the ability to collect files with certain extensions and take screenshots and upload them to the server. They can also fingerprint the system, steal passwords and browser history, monitor keystrokes and collect logs and reports created by other plugins and upload them to the command and control server. Our research also showed how seemingly unrelated malware that has managed to fly under the radar for years falls together in place like pieces of a puzzle with larger espionage operations. Interestingly, all 173 analyzed samples were compiled in a usual 9 to 5 work schedule between Monday and Saturday in a time zone of UTC plus 5. And as threat actors also do lunch, only one sample was compiled at noon. For more information about the research, please check out labs.bitdefender.com and grab the full technical paper. That's it for now, stay safe.